Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to explain uh, the cross-site scripting attack using B framework, otherwise known as the browser exploitation framework. So uh, the BIF is one of the most commonly used tools of ethical hackers to check for XSS exploitations on the web browser. Let's see what we can do with the BIF framework. So let's first open our Kali Linux. So I have booted it with my Oracle virtual box. You can straight away click this icon the beef XSS framework or you can go to the terminal and you can type cd space slash esr slash share slash beef minus xss and uh, straight away you can type dot beef to execute this application let's wait for a second so that it can uh, configure itself we don't need to do anything it will configure itself it will uh, just tell us what to do so here you can uh, see the hook URL and the user interface URL so this is going to be the URL uh, the attacker gonna have and this is going to be the file that we are going to um, attach with the web page So let's open the browser. Let's open the link. You have to enter beef as the username and beef as password once you get inside uh, already I, I'm having some of the browsers that are already connected to this uh, beef panel what we are going to do is we are going to search for the demo page here it is I'm going to click the demo page and it says 192.168.0.104 is the server's IP address and this is going to be the page with payload I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open my windows browser I'm pasting it port number 3000 UI slash panel port 3000 UI don't know we, we don't need to do this demos basic.html so this is the vulnerable page this is going to be the page that uh, that is going to connect with our user interface demos slash basic.html So we are going to check our IP address to confirm it. IP config. Our IP address is 101. Now we are in the Kali Linux. We are checking for the IP address and it is in online. Now I am going to uh, check for the connectivity we are going to click the command let me show you the execution side by side so I am going to select a command to redirect so here it is
so I am going to redirect this page to some other page I am going to insert my own website name dot net dot in I am going to click the execution at the last and you can see the execution immediately so this is the client's browser it is uh, it is directly redirecting into some other web page without asking any permission from the user so you can see the URL is same as we entered before but the page is redirected to some other page so this is how XSS works Thank you for watching.